Good evening, everybody. Okay, ready. This is the final class. Let's do this. Comenzamos entonces. Vamos a tomar asistencia. Damos inicio. Como de costumbre, por favor, al escuchar su nombre, indíquenme que están presentes. Iniciamos con Daniel Edgardo Mengíbar Cervellón. Daniel Edgardo Mengíbar Cervellón. Daniela Beatriz Cerritos Alas. Present. Thank you. Doris Emilia Alfaro de Galvez. Doris Emilia Alfaro de Galvez. Douglas Edgardo Schul Martínez. Douglas Edgardo Schul Martínez. Douglas Vladimir Cruz Catalán. Douglas Vladimir Cruz Catalán. Edith Cristina Molina Galvez. Present. Thank you. Erika Alejandra Acosta Recinos. Erika Alejandra Acosta Recinos. Erika Beatriz de León Galvez. Erika Beatriz de León Galvez. Fátima Jocelyn Portillo de Rodas. Thank you. Francisco Armando García Florentino. Francisco Armando García Florentino. Presente. Herman, thank you. Herman Ulises Pinto Sánchez. Presente. Thank you. Jasmine Yamilet Martínez Cruz. Presente. Thank you. Javier Enrique Chávez Hernández. Javier Enrique Chávez Hernández. Jimena Janet Sánchez González. Joana Yamilet Salazar Sosa. Present. Thank you. Jorge Alfredo Búcaro Mejía. José Heriberto Durán Prado. Presente. Thank you. Juana Inés Velázquez Carranza. Present. Thank you. Julissa Lisbeth Barrientos Dueñas. Hi, teacher. Hi. Catherine Griselda Vázquez Puchagua. Catherine Griselda Vázquez. Catherine Stephanie de la Cruz Enríquez. Catherine Stephanie de la Cruz. Reina Noemí Vela López. Reina Noemí Vela López. Present teacher. Thank you. Roxana Guadalupe Duarte García. Presente. Thank you. Sandy Roxana Díaz Casco. Presente. Thank you. Wendy Carolina Aguilar Hernández. Present. Thank you. Jenny Marisol Hernández de Guevara. Present. Thank you. Voy a llamar a quienes no han contestado aún. Daniel Edgardo Mengíbar Cervellón. Doris Emilia Alfaro de Galvez. Douglas Edgardo Schul Martínez. Douglas Vladimir Cruz Catalán. Erika Alejandra Acosta Recinos. Erika Beatriz de León Galvez. Presente. Thank you. Javier Enrique Chávez Hernández. Jimena Yanet Sánchez González. 
Jorge Alfredo Búcaro Mejía. Catherine Griselda Vázquez Puchagua. Catherine Stephanie de la Cruz Enríquez. Ok. Vamos entonces a tomar nuestra primera captura de la noche. Así que todos, por favor, me hacen... Me encienden la cámara, por favor. Primera captura. Ok, tomamos nuestra primera captura en 3, 2, 1. Guardamos. Parto pantalla con ustedes. Everybody, welcome. Once again, this is English Principiante, Modulo 1, and that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. This is session 16, and today's May the 12th of 2023. Okay? This is the last class. Esta es la última clase de este módulo. Así que sean todos bienvenidos a esta última sesión. Comenzamos. What do we have? Take a look. In this class, students will read an online chat and develop skills in reading for details. En esta clase, los estudiantes leerán un chat en línea y desarrollarán habilidades en la lectura para más detalles. Entonces, es una lectura. Friends across the continent. Okay. Skim the conversation. Write the name of the correct person under each picture. Veamos. ¿Qué dice acá? Está un poco pequeño porque no cabe en realidad en la diapositiva, pero Meg Martin and Kathy O'Brien chat online almost every day. Meg is an exchange student from the U.S. She's studying in Mexico. Kathy is in the U.S., ¿verdad? Entonces, Meg Martin y Kathy O'Brien chatean en línea casi todos los días. Entonces, Meg es un estudiante de intercambio de los Estados Unidos que está estudiando en México, ¿verdad? Kathy está en Estados Unidos, así que están hablando... Se comunican, ¿verdad? A distancia. Ok, so I need two volunteers, two ladies, dos chicas, ok, dos señoritas, two ladies to read this conversation, please. Una va a ser el papel de Meg y la otra de Katy. Solo es un chat que hay que leer. Roxana Guadalupe y Wendy Carolina. Ok, Roxana, you're going to be Meg, Meg Martin, and Wendy Carolina, you're Katy, Katy O'Brien. Ok, let's do it. Hi, dear. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? Um, sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What? What are you working on? I'm writing an essay. An, an essay for Spanish class. I'm writing an essay for Spanish class. Can you chat? For, um, no sé cómo se pronuncia. For a minute. Esa. Minute, where are, where are you? I am in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I am having coffee and uh, she's reading a magazine. How is your family? They are, I find my father working outside. He's mo moving. They love. My mother is out shopping. Where is your brother? John not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait, my mother is home. She's calling me. I have to go to go. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, thank you, Roxana and Wendy. That's the chat. Okay, Kathy says, Meg, hi there. Kathy says, Hi, Meg. Meg says, What are you doing? Kathy says, I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. Aquí la ven, ¿verdad? Meg says, what are you working on? ¿En qué estás trabajando? 
Kathy says, I'm writing an essay for Spanish class. Ok, hasta este punto, ¿alguna duda acerca del vocabulario? Do you have questions about vocabulary? La palabra que no tengan clara, que no sepan qué significa. Daniela Beatriz. Sí, quisiera que me repitiera cómo se pronuncia ensayo. Essay. Essay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Es un ensayo, aunque ese se entiende más que todo como una composición. Ajá. Aunque aparezca esa traducción en el diccionario. Ese es un essay. Entonces dice, I'm writing an essay for Spanish class. Estoy escribiendo una composición para la clase de español. Ok, that's an essay. Ok, ¿qué dice Meg posteriormente? Can you chat? Puedes platicar, puedes hablar. Ok, Kathy says, for a minute. Where are you? Meg says, I'm in an internet cafe. Ok, así es como se dicen los cibercafé. Nunca van a decir cyber coffee, ¿verdad? Porque eso no existe. Tienen que decir internet cafe. Eso es un cibercafé. Que ya no se ven prácticamente, pero bueno. I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. Aquí están las dos. I am having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How is your family? Kathy says, they are all fine. My father is working outside. Papá está trabajando afuera. Okay. He's mowing the lawn. What is the meaning of this? Mow the lawn. Es cortar el césped. Más que todo con una máquina. Okay. He's mowing the lawn. Mow es cortar, ¿verdad? Cortar el, el pasto, el césped. The lawn es el césped. He's mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Meg says, where is your brother? Kathy says, John's not home. John is not home. O sea, no está en casa. He is playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My mother is home. She is calling me. I have to go. Okay, irme. Meg says, okay, bye. And Kathy says, bye. Chat entry here. Douglas Vladimir dice, good evening. Okay, Douglas, tomamos su asistencia. All right. ¿Qué vamos a hacer nosotros por acá? Esas son las mismas preguntas que aparecen en el uh, Knowledge Check 1.16. Este es el 1.15, Reading, Friends Across the Continent, and 1.16, Knowledge Check. Entonces, ¿qué tenemos que hacer acá? Solo seleccionar la respuesta correcta. Antes de eso, vamos a escuchar la conversación. Nada más. Reading, Friends Across a Continent. Meg Martin and Kathy O'Brien chat online almost every day. Meg is an exchange student from the U.S. She is studying in Mexico. Kathy is in the U.S. Um, Pueden escuchar, verdad? Sí. Okay. Sí. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Solo asegurándome que no estar poniendo un audio completo y que nadie que luego me digan que no escucharon. Okay. Let's continue. Hi there. Hi Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm writing an essay for Spanish class. Can you chat? For a minute. Where are you? I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How is your family? They're all fine. My father's working outside. He's mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Where's your brother? John's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My mother is home. She's calling me. I have to go. 
Okay. Bye. Bye. All right. Time to do the exercise. Okay, number one, if you know the answer, raise your hand. Who is writing an essay? Kathy O'Brien, Meg Martin, John O'Brien, Kathy's mother, Kathy's father, or Carmen? Raise your hand if you know the answer. Douglas Vladimir. Uh, Kathy O'Brien. Kathy O'Brien. That is correct. Thank you, Douglas. Number two. Who is having coffee? Raise your hand if you know the answer, please. Jose Heriberto. It's Meg Martin. Meg Martin. Meg Martin. Okay, that's good. Meg Martin. Thank you. That's correct. Number three, who's reading a magazine? Raise your hand. Jenny Marisol, then Sandy Roxana for the next one. Jenny Marisol, who's reading a magazine? Is Carmen. Carmen, correct. Very good. Thank you. Sandy Roxana, number four. Who is working outside? Kathy's father. Kathy's father. That's correct. Thank you very much. Number five. Raise your hand. Number five. Fatima Yoselin. Who is shopping? Kathy's mother. Kathy's mother. That is correct. Thank you very much. And number six, raise your hand, please. Wants to participate? Edith Cristina, who is playing soccer? John O'Brien. John O'Brien. That is correct. Very good, everybody. Ese es el último ejercicio de la sección. Okay, the reading. Es lo mismo. Aquí lo tienen después. Now let's check, okay? Listen and read the conversation, then respond with the name of the person doing the activity. Escuche y lea la conversación, luego responda con el nombre de la persona que está haciendo la actividad, ¿verdad? Okay, que sigue acá, tenemos la respuesta del uh, test, del exit test. Así que, técnicamente, ya terminamos, pero okay, tenemos todavía una clase que cubre. Así que vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso del contenido verdad de esta unidad precisamente. So we have some exercises. Aquí tenemos algunos ejercicios, son ejercicios prácticos totalmente y todos relacionados a la unidad que acabamos de determinar. Okay, so write each sentence a different way. Okay, the first one is it's midnight. Entonces para decirlo en otras palabras, it's 12 o'clock at night. Justo así, verdad? It's 12 o'clock at night. What about number two? Siguiendo el mismo ejemplo. It's 4 p.m. ¿De qué otra forma podemos decir eso? Siguiendo el ejemplo, por supuesto. Raise your hand if you know the answer. It's 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. Vamos a usar esta de ejemplo. A lo mejor no está del todo claro. Decimos, it's 4 p.m. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Ok. Aquí tenemos ya dos ejemplos. What about number three? It's 9.15 a.m. Douglas Vladimir. Uh, it's 9.15 it's, it's in the morning. It's 9.15 in the morning. That is correct. Thank you very much, Douglas. Good. Number four. Who knows? Wendy Carolina. It's 8 o'clock in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Mm, the afternoon is la tarde. Y a las ocho uh, ya pasó la tarde. Sería night. Uh -huh. It's eight o'clock. You can say it's eight o'clock in the evening or it's eight o'clock at night. Cualquiera de las dos estaría bien. Okay, thank you, Wendy Carolina. Very good. Number five. Who can help us? 
I need a volunteer. Mm -hmm. The next one, number five, who wants to try? Participants, please. Doris Emilia. It's 10.45 at night. It's 10.45 at night. That is correct. Thank you very much, Doris. Number six. Raise your hand. Jenny Marisol. It's six o'clock at night. Um, is that number seven or number six? It's six. Okay, but what oh, about... Oh, no, perdón. Well, el siete. <laughs> Okay, ah, veamos, la, la seis entonces. Uh, sería. Ay, me confundí con eso. You can do it, puede hacerlo, puede hacerlo. No, no se me bloquee, vamos. Sí, es que pensé que iba en esa otra. <laughs> no hay problema. Ajá, number six. Uh, sería X. Me nuble. Ok, no problem. Thank you, Jenny. Bueno, la siete sí, correcta, pero no puedo mostrarla todavía porque hay un orden de animación específico. But yeah, <laughs> number six. Who can help us with number six? Juana Inés. It's three thirty at the afternoon. It's three thirty in the afternoon. That's correct. Thank you, Juana Inés. And then Jenny Marisol said it's six o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, thank you. And the last one. Super corto, por cierto. It's 12 p.m., you say. Super cortita la respuesta. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver quién sabe. Joana y Amilet. Is it uh, okay? <laughs> All right. Um, who can help Joanna Yamile? Hmm? Doris Emilia. Noon, it's noon. Yeah, that's right. It's noon. Nada más. Okay. okay, it's noon. Thank you, Joanna, and thank you, Doris. Okay, Catherine nos contacta por acá. Vamos, gracias, Catherine. Vamos a tomar su asistencia. Hola, ah, ya la vi. Okay. Okay, good. That's the first exercise. En el chat. Tengo mala señal, dice Joan. Okay. All right, so uh, the next one. What time is it in each city? Ah, okay. Okay, vamos a poner acá. Okay, what time is in each city? Write the time in two different ways. Tiene que decirme la hora de dos formas distintas. Aquí vemos lo de los time zones, que fue lo que vimos al inicio, el lunes, ¿verdad? De esta semana. Time zones. Ok, time zone A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, and K. Ok, fíjese la hora, está aquí abajito. Fíjese también, no se guíe por el nombre, sino por el puntito donde sale, ¿verdad? Esa es la ciudad. O sea, Los Ángeles está aquí, ¿verdad? No anda por acá, está aquí. Así que, veamos. Number one, Los Angeles. It's 10 a.m. in Los Angeles. Vamos a ver si es cierto. Aquí puede ver Los Angeles. Aquí está el punto que lo indica y está en la zona horaria D, ¿verdad? Que es 10 a.m. Y ese por los colores también, ¿verdad? Y además aquí aparecen las letras de todas formas. So, it's 10 a.m. in Los Angeles. O puede decir usted también, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Es muy parecido a lo que está acá. Tiene que decirlo de dos formas diferentes. Pero... ¿Verdad? Eh, guíese, por supuesto, por la zona horaria. Okay. So, 
Los Angeles. 10 a.m. Okay. Number two. Number two is Denver. Denver is right here. Who knows the answer? Jose Heriberto. Okay, Denver, it's um, 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. in Denver, in mm -hmm. Los, in Denver. It's 11 a.m. in Denver, yes. Yes. Uh, it's um, uh, 11 o'clock in the morning. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. That is correct. Thank you, Jose Heriberto. Correct answer. Very good. What about number three? Number three, Mexico City. Mira bien dónde está el puntito, ¿verdad? La ciudad de México, Mexico City. Where's Mexico City? What time is it in Mexico City? Raise your hand if you know. Sigamos ahí el ejemplo y también la respuesta que nos dio José Heriberto, también lo podemos usar como ejemplo. Justo así hay que, hay que resolver el ejercicio. Mm -hmm. Mexico City, who wants to participate? Douglas Vladimir. Sería 11 de siempre, ¿verdad? Uh, no, no. 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 Because if you see, 11 is white. And Mexico City is in gray. This is time zone F. Entonces, um, it's, it's 12 o'clock. Um, no, uh, it's it's twelve p.m. in Mexico. Twelve p.m. in Mexico City. Okay, or Mexico City, or um, it's it's midnight. It's mm -mm. no, it it's it's noon in Mexico. It's noon. It's noon. Okay. Thank you. It's 12 p.m. in Mexico City. It's noon. That's correct. Thank you, Douglas. Siempre acordémonos. 12 p.m. is noon. 12 a.m. midnight. Okay. All right. Thank you. Number four, Lima. What about Lima? Number four, who knows the answer? Raise your hand, please. Jose Heriberto, thank you very much. Okay. It's 1 p.m. in Lima City. It's 1 p.m. in Lima. Yeah. Or... It's uh, one o'clock in Lima. Uh, it's one o'clock in, in the afternoon. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. That's correct. Thank you, Seriberto. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. Good. What's next? Number five, Santiago. What about Santiago? Juan Inés. It's 2 p.m. in Santiago. Yes. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Correct. It's 2 p.m. in Santiago. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Good. Thank you, Juan Inés. Very good. Number six, Rio. What about Rio? What time is it in Rio? Fatima Yoselin. It's 3 p.m. Uh, in Rio. It's 3 p.m. in Rio. Mm -hmm. Or? It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That is correct. 
Ok, thank you, Fátima Jocelyn. Very good. Ok, vamos a hacer una pausa. Vamos a dejar de compartir y tenemos que tomar una captura de pantalla. Son las 8.30. Así que todos, por favor, encienden su camarita. Ok, vamos, cámaras, por favor. Ok. Ok, vamos entonces a tomar captura de pantalla. En 3, 2, 1. Ya está. Ok, let's continue. Nada de chat. Doris Emilia. Ok. Doris Emilia, aquí está. Ok, Doris, ya está su asistencia. All right, let's continue. What time is it? Use the sentences in the box. This is a copy-paste exercise, okay? Es un ejercicio de copiar y pegar prácticamente, así que solo elijan. <laughs> so the first one, it's uh, 20 after 9. Aquí está en la caja. En la caja tienen, it's 5.05, it's a quarter after 1, it's 20 after 9, que es el ejemplo. It's 8 after 6, it's 10 to 8, and it's a quarter to 3. So, what about number 2? Raise your hand, please. What time is it? Como aparece en el cuadro, ¿verdad? What time is it? Doris Emilia. It's 10 to 8. It's 10 to 8. That's correct. Very good. Thank you. It's 10 to 8. All right. What about number three? We have, raise your hand, please. Number three. Juana Inés. It's a quarter after one. It's a quarter after one. Yeah, that's right. Very good. Very good. Number four. Edith Cristina, then Fatima Yoseling for number five. Okay, but no me baje la manita. <laughs> si no, después se me pierde. Yeah. Okay, Edith Cristina. It's 5.05. It's 5.05. That is correct. Thank you, Edith Cristina. Fatima, number five, please. Fatima Yoselin. <laughs> Fatima? It's eight. After. Number five, this one here. It's a quarter to three. It's a quarter to three. Yeah, that is correct. Very good. And the last one, quite obviously, you have it's eight after six. Okay. Say it after six. There you go. Okay, cool. Let's continue. Next exercise. Complete the crossword puzzle. Write each time a different way. Esto es un crossword puzzle. Les explico cómo, bueno, todos sabemos cómo funciona, pues, pero en inglés tenemos esto que es across. Esta es la indicación. Across es el horizontal. Down es el vertical, ¿verdad? Okay. Así que vamos a resolverlo justo en este orden. Creo que en este orden está. Déjenme ver. Yeah, todo vamos a hacer, vamos a hacer primero todos los que son across y luego todos los que son down para que aparezca el orden exacto. So, you have an example. Number one says, it's five in the morning. That means it's five a.m. Okay. Number four, across. It's 4.15. It's a quarter, blah, 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 four. What's the missing word? ¿Cuál es la palabra que falta ahí? 
If you know, please raise your hand. Doris Emilia. After four. It's a quarter after, after four. Yeah, that is correct. Very good. Thank you, Doris. Okay, number two. No, sorry, it's not number two. Number seven. Okay, seven across. Okay, it's 12 a.m. It's, raise your hand. Juana Inés. Midnight. It's midnight. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. It's midnight. Very good. Thank you. Number eight across. It's 8 p.m. It's eight in the... Raise your hand. Difficult? Joanna Yamilet. Evening? It's, uh, yep, yeah, it's eight in the evening. That is correct. Thank you, Joanna. Very good. Okay. Number nine across. It's 12 p.m. It's... Douglas. It's noon. It's noon. That is correct. Very good. Now, uh, down. Vamos con verticales. Number two. It's 7 a.m. It's 7 in the... Raise your hand. Joanna Yamilet. Morning. In the morning. That's correct. Thank you. Very good. Number three. It's 3.30. Bueno, le di la respuesta ahí prácticamente. It's free. <laughs> Técnicamente lo mismo que dije. Uh -huh. what's, the, what's the answer? Three down. Douglas Vladimir. It's, it's seven in the morning. Seven in the morning. Uh, no, that's number two. Esa ya la, ya la hicimos. Sería la, la, la tres. Number three down. It's three. It's three evening. Half mm -mm. afternoon. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Sorry. Say. It's okay. Don't worry. No. Jose Riverto. Three thirty. Three thirty. Yep. Okay. Three thirty. Oh. Okay. It's 3.30. Okay, so number four. Okay, uh, who wants to try? Number four down. It's 4 p.m. Okay, Jenny Marisol. Afternoon. It's four in the afternoon. Okay, that's correct. It's four in the afternoon. Good. Thank you very much. Number five. It's... No lo voy a leer porque estoy dando la respuesta. Uh, number five. Who wants to try Jose Heriberto. It's uh, one a quarter. One a quarter. Um, cuando leemos así la hora, no se puede decir one a quarter. Podemos decir a quarter after one, pero, okay. no, pero no one a quarter. Entonces ahí habría que decir el número exacto. ¿Cuál sería? It's one. It's one fifteen. It's one fifteen. That is correct. Okay. Uh -huh. A quarter solo se puede ocupar cuando, cuando utilizamos la, la otra expresión que lleva after o past yes. o cuando faltan 15 para la siguiente hora. Sería a quarter to. Ahí sí, ¿verdad? Yeah. En esos dos casos sí. So, yeah, it's uh, 1.15. Thank you. Very good. 
uh, number six. It's 345. Vaya, aquí sí se puede. It's 345. It's, who knows? Juana Inés? It's a quarter to four. It's a quarter to four. Yeah, it's a quarter to four. Very good. Okay, good, good. And the last one. Okay, Doris, I quería participar. It's 11 p.m. It's 11 at? At night. At night, yes. Okay, that is correct. Thank you. Okay, we completed the crossword puzzle. All right, next exercise. What time is it? 8.40. Okay, still have 20 minutes. What are these people doing? Write sentences, use the words in the box. Solamente lo vamos a ver una vez, fíjense bien. Los verbos son dance, drive, play tennis, breathe, ride a bike, shop, sleep, swim, and watch television. Utilizando esto, pero solo en la primera diapositiva aparece. What is she doing? She is sleeping. What about number two? What is he doing? Raise your hand. Joana, and then Reina Noemi, and then Jose Heriberto. Okay. No, le, no bajen la mano mientras no hayan participado. Okay, Joana, number two. Swimming. Again, please. Sorry. Swimming. He is swimming. Okay, he is swimming. Okay, he is swimming. Thank you, Joanna. Reina Noemi, number three. What are they doing? They are playing tennis. They're playing tennis. That is correct. Very good. Jose Heriberto, number four. What is she doing? Um, she is, um, uh, is, uh, is um, riding a bike. Riding a bike. She's riding a bike. That's correct. Okay, she's riding a bike. Very good. Thank you very much. Number five. Raise your hand if you know the answer. Number five. What are they doing? Edith, Christina. They're, they're shopping. They're shopping. That is correct. They are shopping, right? They're shopping. Good. Thank you. Number six. Francisco Armando. He is watching television. He's watching television. Okay. That's good. Or he's watching TV. Thank you. Very good. Number seven. What is he doing? Doris Emilia, then Edith Cristina. I'm, I'm sorry? He is driving. He's driving. Okay, he's driving. Okay, good, good. Edith Cristina. Teacher, el periódico, si no me recuerdo cómo se dice. Newspaper. Newspaper. Mm -hmm. He is new paper. Um, nos falta el verbo ahí, ¿verdad? Aquí okay, tenemos la palabra. She's, she, she's new, news paper. Le falta ahí el verbo. Mm. She is, she are. Hmm, she is. She new paper. Mm, falta ahí la palabra más importante, falta el verbo. La acción. ¿Qué está haciendo ella? Está leyendo. En inglés, she is. El verbo leer es el que nos falta ahí. Veamos. Eh, Roxana Guadalupe nos va a echar la manita. She is read the newspaper. Again, please. She is. Read. Ok, ya está el verbo, pero no está en la forma correcta. Reading. Ajá. Complete sentence, please. She is reading the newspaper. She is reading the newspaper. Ok. She is reading the newspaper. Está leyendo el periódico, ¿verdad? Ok. 
Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, number nine. What are they doing? Uh, Jose Heriberto. They are they, uh, dancing. They're dancing. That is correct. They're dancing. Okay, good. They're dancing. All right. So next exercise. We have more. Okay. Vamos a hacer una pausa para otra captura de pantalla. Así que por favor, todos enciendan su cámara. Nuevamente. Ok. La cámara a todos, por favor, para poder tomar una captura de pantalla. Ok. No se me han dormido ahí, creo. Ok, captura de pantalla, vamos en 3, 2, 1... Ahí está. Okay. Sharing the screen with you again. We're back. Okay, for the next one, answer the questions. Ahora, son preguntas, tienen que contestarlas. Si la respuesta es negativa, ustedes tienen que proporcionar la información correcta, la información real. Number one, is Debbie getting up? Se está levantando Debbie. Is Debbie getting up? Nada que ver. Ahí está bien, bien dormida. So, decimos, no, she isn't. Eso es lo primero. Con eso contestamos. Pero si resulta que no está haciendo eso, entonces tenemos que decir que está haciendo. Además, hay que agregar esa información. Entonces, is Debbie getting up? No, she isn't. Period. She is sleeping. Por chat tenemos. Okay. Me notifican aquí. Alguien no le funcionaba la cámara. Okay. Thank you. Okay. She's sleeping. Number two. Uh, second example. Are Kelly and Tony taking a walk? Están caminando. The answer is no, they aren't. Ahora hay que agregar lo que están haciendo en realidad. They are shopping. Están comprando, andan de compras. What about number three? Are Megan and Dan studying Douglas Vladimir? No, they, they not. No, they. Uh, sería no, they. The, no, they. No, they are not. No, they are not. Oh, no, they aren't. Okay. What are they doing? Um, they are dancing. They are dancing. Son del disco, aparentemente. <laughs> okay, they're dancing. Thank you, Douglas. Uh, Jose Heriberto, number four. Is Carmen driving a car? No, she isn't. No, she isn't. What is she doing then? She is um, riding a bike. She's riding a bike. That's correct. Very good. Thank you. Number five. Is Bill swimming? Raise your hand. Is Bill swimming? Reina Noemi. No, he is not. Mm -hmm. What is he doing? He is running. He's running. Okay, correct. No, he isn't. He's running. Thank you, Reina Noemi. Very good. Number six. Is Michiko having dinner? Michiko is a lady. So is Michiko having dinner? Reina Noemi. No, she is not. She is watching television. No, she isn't. She's watching television. Okay, or she's watching TV. Okay, thank you, Reina Noemi. That's correct. Number seven. Is Claire watching television? 
Doris Emilia. No, she isn't. No, she isn't. She, she, she is reading a book. She's reading a book or simply she's reading. Okay, thank you. That's correct. Very good. Number eight. Y esta es con información correcta, verdad, o cierta, verdadera. What about you? Are you sleeping? Espero yo que nadie esté durmiendo ahorita, verdad. Okay, so are you sleeping? What do you have? Me están preguntando a usted directamente. Reina Noemi. No, no, I am not sleeping. Sería nada más la respuesta corta. No, I am not. Okay. So what are you doing? I am studying. I am studying. O sea, yo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Y, y, y todos los demás también que estamos acá conectados. <laughs> so I am studying. Studying what? Um, English. Yes, no. I am studying English. That is correct. Thank you, Reina Noemi. Very good. I am studying English. Great. Okay, for the next exercise. Solo un momentito. Okay. ¿Qué vamos a hacer acá para este ejercicio? Fíjense bien. Tienen que ver el dibujo, ¿ok? Y en base al dibujo me van a contestar las preguntas. ¿Ok? Son dos cosas que van a hacer, de hecho. Tienen que hacer, formular la pregunta y contestarla en base al dibujo. Entonces, ¿qué tenemos aquí? Number one. Terry wear shorts. Pero aquí están las personas, ¿verdad? Terry. Helen, Tyling, Brandon, Carlos, Sonia, Pedro, and Maria. Number one, tenemos aquí en paréntesis, Terry wears shorts. Entonces la pregunta es, is Terry wearing shorts? Y a ustedes ven el dibujo de Terry, ¿verdad? Y no, nada que ver, no anda shorts. Entonces decimos, no, he's not, period. He's wearing jeans. Algunas son afirmativas. ¿Verdad? A diferencia del ejercicio anterior en que eran todas negativas. Algunas son afirmativas, así que fíjense bien en el dibujo para contestar cada una de las preguntas. Number two, you have Tai Lin wearing wear a raincoat. Ahí ven a Tai Lin. Voy a acercar un poquito para que vean a Tai Lin bien. So what's the question? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? Siguiendo el ejemplo, por supuesto. Doris Emilia. Is this guy wearing a raincoat? Okay. Is Tyling wearing a raincoat? Okay, and what's the answer? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Okay, yeah, that's right. Yes, he is. Good. Thank you, Doris. What about number four? Maria, talk on the phone. A ver, a Maria, si está hablando por teléfono. Joanna y Amilet. Is Maria talking on the on the iPhone? Is Maria talking on, on the, the phone? phone? Mm -hmm. What is the answer? Joanna? Or somebody else? Okay, Doris? No, she's not. Uh -huh. No, she's not. Okay. No, she isn't. Or no, she's not. So what is she doing? Is 
si no está hablando por teléfono, ¿qué está haciendo? She's sleeping. Ok. Ahí la ven, ¿verdad? Está bien parqueada, María. Así que, no, she isn't. She's sleeping. Ok. Good. Number four. Reina Noemí. Mm. Are Terry and Helen eight? Okay, are Terry and Helen eight? Eating, okay. Eight eating? Are, Hel are Terry and Helen eating? Okay. So, what's the answer? Uh, no, they are Terry and Helen. Okay. Tenemos la, la respuesta, la respuesta corta. Ajá, sería no they. No they are. Falta no. un pedacito ahí de esa respuesta. No they are. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. Dancing. Ok, pero la respuesta corta es la que tenemos que sacar primero acá, ¿verdad? Are Terry and Ellen eating? Entonces decimos que no, ¿verdad? Sería no. They are. No, they are. Algo mm -hmm. nos falla ahí un poquitín. Hay un pequeño problema ahí. ¿Quién nos ayuda a resolver esta? La pregunta muy bien. Okay. No, they are not. No, they are not. Ok, sería no, they aren't, ¿verdad? Ese not es lo que falta ahí. No, they aren't. So, what are they doing? What are they doing? They are dancing. They are dancing. That is correct. Thank you. Number five. Raise your hand, please. Pedro and Sonia watch television. Hmm? Douglas Vladimir. Um. Pedro and Sonia watching television. Nos faltó una palabra ahí. Uh, Pedro and Sonia are watching television. Ahora ahí está, pero no está en el lugar correcto. Uh, are, are Pedro and Sonia watching television? Are Pedro and Sonia Girl. watching television? Así es. El verb be aparece al principio porque es la pregunta. Are Pedro and Sonia watching television? What's the answer? Uh, no, they they aren't. No, they aren't. Um, uh, they they are. Mm -hmm. um, um, how do you say practicar? <laughs> okay. <laughs> The verb is talk. Talk. Entonces, mm -hmm. uh, they, they're talking. No, they aren't. They're talking. Bueno, yo creo que di un clic de más y ya estaba ahí la respuesta. No, they aren't. They're talking. Okay, thank you, Douglas. Very good. Number six. Who wants to try? You have Tai Ling and Brandon eat pizza. José Heriberto. José Heriberto, su micrófono. Ok. Ok. Are, uh, are Tyling and Brandon eating pizza? Are Tyling and Brandon eating pizza? Ok. What's the answer? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Ok. Nada más que decir. Thank you, José Heriberto. Very good. Number seven. Carlos, chat online. Number seven. 
Juana Inés. Is Carlos chatting online? Is Carlos chatting online? Okay, what's the answer? Mm. No, he's not. No, he's not, or no, he isn't. What is he doing? He is reading. He is reading. Okay, he's reading. Good. Thank you very much. And the last one, number eight. Who wants to try? Raise your hand, please. Es la última. Daniela Beatriz. Is Maria wearing a boots? Is Maria wearing boots? Uh -huh. What's the answer? Uh, no, she isn't. No, she isn't. She she wearing a high heels. She's wearing high heels. Okay. Yeah, she's wearing high heels. Good. Okay. Thank you, Daniela. Con ese ejercicio, básicamente terminamos. Y acá, vamos a tomar asistencia. Bueno, antes que nada, bueno, vamos a tomar asistencia y luego la última captura de pantalla. Solamente en caso que alguien no haya contestado. Vamos acá, veamos. Daniel Edgardo Mejibar Cervellón. Daniel Edgardo Mejibar Cervellón. Ok, thank you. Douglas Edgardo Shul Martínez. Erika Alejandra Acosta Recinos. Erika Alejandra Acosta Recinos. Javier Enrique Chávez Hernández. Javier Enrique Chávez Hernández. Jimena Yanet Sánchez González. Jimena Yanet Sánchez González. Jorge Alfredo Búcaro Mejía. Ok, no está. No, no está. Ok. Catherine Stephanie de la Cruz Enríquez. Ok, good. Vamos a tomar la última captura. Todos, por favor, enciendan su cámara. Ok, vamos. Vamos, captura de pantalla en 3, 2, 1... Guardamos. Y con eso, damas y caballeros, terminamos este nivel, ¿verdad? Les agradezco a todos por su participación. Espero que, pues, no haya sido tan confusa la clase <ríe> y que hayan aprendido, pues, lo más que eh, se haya podido, ¿verdad? Lo más, lo, lo más posible. Eh, ha sido un gusto trabajar con ustedes. Solo como recomendación, siempre les voy a dar, traten de participar, ¿de acuerdo? Que no sean siempre los mismos, hasta risa les da, ya lo ve la cara. Hasta que tienen la cámara encendida, les da risa. Ok, traten por favor de participar, es muy importante, es importante. Ustedes van a ver, se van a acordar de mí después, se van a acordar cuando vean. El que participa, el que habla, es el que termina aprendiendo. El que solo se dedica a ver es el que después se queda atrás, y ya le cuesta agarrar el ritmo de los demás compañeros. Se lo digo porque, bueno, yo tengo bastante tiempo dando clases. Desde el año 2005 doy clases, así que ya son 18 años. Y he visto esto repetirse una y otra vez. Así que aprovechen siempre. Si ustedes tienen la oportunidad de hablar, hablen, practiquenlo, destraben la lengua, ¿verdad? 
si uno solo se espera y dice, no, hay después, hay después, cuando ya estemos en un nivel intermedio voy a empezar a hablar. Ahí se va a dar cuenta que los otros compañeros van a estar en nivel intermedio y usted va a estar en nivel básico. Así que no permitan que eso suceda. ¿De acuerdo? Un consejo, tómenlo de... Ok. Um, de nuevo, muchas gracias a todos, ¿verdad? Ya que están cansados, que tienen hambre probablemente y sueño, así que los voy dejando. Si, algún, si alguien tiene algún comentario final, pues podemos escucharlo. Si no, pues eh, iríamos terminando ya acá, ¿verdad? Así que muchas gracias a todos. Good night. Bye, bye, teacher. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Gracias. Gracias. Thank you, teacher. Welcome.